Hi, my name's Corey, and welcome to my mess. Today we're going to address a soft spot in my roof where the FM radio antenna had leaked and deteriorated some of the plywood with an oversized antenna mount that we 3D printed. So I tried to print several of these out of ASA, which is supposed to be a better material for a roof environment like this where it's going to be hot. It's going to it's going to be pretty brutal. And I do plan on putting a white coat over this, so I don't know that it's going to be all that bad that I went with PETG. This is going to be a learning experience for me. But for whatever reason, at the same exact layer height and position, when it was printing with ASA, it turned to print 90 degrees and created spaghetti. Obviously, it wasn't going to print on anything. I've resliced it, I renamed it, I went back and exported the model again, and obviously this is how it turned out each time. So I gave up on that, went to PETG, and I tried to print it too fast. I was getting in a hurry after you know a few days of doing that. Finally slowed it down and came out with a decent print. And what this is is has a hole for an SDR radio. The cord is on top. I couldn't find anything that passed through the bottom. And I have a cable inlet that'll go here that will seal in. And then this is for an FM radio. So it'll actually sit like this. And so I don't have to drill any new holes in the roof. I have supports underneath here that once removed allow for the SDR radio cable to come and pass underneath. I'm sorry, not from there, from here, pass underneath to here and go down the existing hole. So the only new holes I'll be adding are the eight screws to mount it down to the roof, which I hope is gonna be in better condition on the outside. It certainly feels like it is. First, you need to go over and remove the supports. So we'll do that right now. I know if I would have flipped this upside down, I'd have had a whole lot less support to remove, but I was being kind of picky on having the pretty side up. And I haven't had a whole lot of luck having a decent surface once I remove the supports. It's certainly something I need to work on. Good enough. Happy with that. All right, so there's the plate, and this was a little bit thick. Unfortunately, on the antenna for the SDR, all I could find was one that mounted to a magnetic metal base. I didn't want that, so I took all that off. And that guy goes in there, a little bit of sealant. We'll put a little bead around the bottom of that. And since the uh, plastic is pretty thin, the print there, I think that'll help hold it. The screw just needs to hold it till it dries, basically. Okay, that lined up the way I want it. Beautiful. Yeah, and I'm glad the roof's getting a coating because I'm going to do little bits at a time with my fingers. So that's that antenna. This, I had to make an oversized hole just to fit the head of that through. I realized I could have cut it and soldered it, but I don't know that I would have gained much. There's that. And to get through the roof, I 3D printed these little guys. Get off there. And it's uh, for the cable to run through. We'll take the prints off of there and off of there. And they to go together. Forms a little wire passage. So make sure that it fits the wire first. Beautiful. So, I'm sure I'll have this stuff all over me by the time it's done. Put a little bit on these halves. A little bit in the hole where the antenna goes to, or the wire rather. On both sides. Wipe that off somewhere far out of my way lessen my chance of sticking myself with it. That'll go in like so. And I know they make different cable glands and what have you, but that would require a town run. I'm happy with this. 
Of course, I didn't think to bring a uh, rag. Once that gets glued down, that'll be pretty solid. Or, well, I don't care so much about solid as I do weather tight. But I'm not going to worry about that much until I get the other antenna on. And that was the original mounting base. Not doing that. But this runs out of threads. Unless you do this guy, it has a rubber washer on the bottom. There is a textured surface on the bottom of, or on the top of this print, so still going to put a thin layer down just for a gasket. And there's also a rubber gasket on top. Which I'm happy with that one there the way it is. It's going to go like so. Oh, and the gasket bounced off right as it was going in. Okay, note to self, make the thread slightly larger next time. Gosh darn it. Oh. I'd taken that off a long time ago. There we go. Okay. So that's all tight and sealed up once that guy will be done. I'll probably just take some more pucky and throw a weight on top of here until that dries after this is all routed down in there. That shouldn't be a problem. And for my next trick, I have to gather, grab the old antenna in. Ooh, well, I'm glad I'm still wearing my gloves because that's actually quite sticky after several days. Oh, come back here. All right, well, there's my pole wire. Oh, and it's cut all the way through, but the outer shielding's cut. Well, if I can pull it up, hopefully, yeah, I can pull it down. Oh, I'm not real confident. I can always cut the end of that off. But right now I'm going to use it as a stop. So if I have to tug on it kind of hard, hopefully it'll hold. This is the SDR, which is a larger one. It's going to cause some problems. I can already see that. Plenty of room here to cover it. I think it would be wise of me to drill a hole right next to this. I have no idea what this stuff would do if I caught it with a drill bit. You ever taken a drill bit in the carpet before? Yeah, that little strand will pull 15 feet away before you even notice it. I certainly don't want to do anything like that here. Losing sunlight. Oh, it's going this way. Didn't expect that. So it might be giving me grief fact that it has to bend 90 degrees. Part of me just wants to see if I can send it. The other part of me doesn't want to try and fish a rope through here either.
All right, give it a shot. Pull. Pull. Nice. Keep pulling until the wires come out. Hopefully they do. Hang on, if it's stuck, tell me. We might be hooked on another wire or something in the wall. Is it stuck or no? And it doesn't pull back either. Pull. Great. Pull one more time. All right, I've officially got it stuck in the wall somewhere. Wires won't go either way. Okay, thank you. Got it farther than I had. All right, fantastic. It was stuck where it came out of the wall. Tuck those back in there. Is that going to sit flat with the way that I've got that wire routed? Sure looks like it. All right. So something about the uh, Dicor EPDM roof coating said that you couldn't do patches on the roof for two weeks prior to the white coat. So I'm going to try and keep all of this under the footprint of this guy because I don't want to wait two weeks. I want to do it in a couple days. Just in case it affects the way that it adheres. Five and thirteen. Six. Five and thirteen. Oh no. I think I didn't want to get it all over the roof, right? Knucklehead. head. Fill each screw hole. Well, that's fantastic that it made it up the inside of the wall. I'm happy to not have to cut access holes. And I'm happy to have this done before the rain tomorrow. I love these oil-driven impacts, too. much to impact there. Put a rock on there. You know what, I think I'm going to put a zip tie around there just to kind of hold it together for the moment too. Hold it down with me. This little guy is going to go on here. And that guy is going to go on there. And I realize if one of these was to transmit, there would be considerable interference, but as they're both receiver only antennas, at least that's what I intend for them to be. Obviously, things can change. So, I'm going just to hold this together. Uh, not quite what I had in mind, but. It'll make do. Yeah, this is turning out pretty goofy and hokey. It's only temporary, I tell myself. Okay. Actually works out all right. Let that dry. However long that takes, seal around it. All right, well this started out just being a slightly rotten roof repair that grew into two antennas and I'm happy with how it came out. Uh, when I do the roof, I'll completely cover this so the PETG is not in the sun and I'll finish sealing this up. Uh, but you guys don't need to see any of that. I'll put the links to the antennas and the Thingiverse file in the description below. And if you like this, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you and have a great day. Bye now.